This was the final day for weddings at the Kern County Clerk's Office. Today, 29 Eyewitness News got to ask Auditor Controller Ann Barnett about her decision to end the service, and we had the latest on what happens next. Barnett announced no more wedding ceremonies just after the state Supreme Court ruling allowing same-sex marriage. Reporter Carol Ferguson spent the day at the clerk's office. He joins us live with the latest. Carol? Kurt, the area behind me is where we saw a wedding ceremony performed this morning by the county clerk's office, one of the last such ceremonies. As of Tuesday, the county clerk will issue a marriage license to any couple who wants to marry, and that includes same-sex couples. But as of today, there will be no more wedding ceremonies performed by the clerk's office. Eyewitness News has tried to ask clerk Ann Barnett about this decision. Today, she gave me some of her time. This was one of 45 wedding ceremonies performed on the last day of this service by the Kern County Clerk's Office. By next week, no civil services like this will be done. Eyewitness News has tried to ask Clerk Ann Barnett about her decision. I need to refer you to the Allied Defense Fund. In a soft voice, Barnett again referred me to a spokesman with the Allied Defense Fund, an organization that promotes traditional family values. When I'd called the receptionist asking for Barnett, I'd also been referred to that spokesman. I asked more about that. And is there a reason for that? I mean, can you just explain that, your, your thought process on that? I went to ADF because they are the experts in constitutional law. And you're getting advice from them and you're following it through, that kind of a thing? Yes. Bernard Barman is county counsel, the county's attorney, so I went to ask him about this. I, I was unaware that uh, she was using this firm uh, for um, handling matters involving, uh, legal matters involving the press. There would be no more civil ceremonies, said Barnett, because it was a matter of tight space, tight budgets, and security in her department. I asked Barman what his legal advice had been to her on ending the ceremonies. She was given a, um, a document of legal opinions, um, I think it was a week ago, um, a little more than a week ago, and um, told her we were available to follow up on those, that, that advice. He won't say what that advice was. It's between the lawyer and his client, Barnett. Critics say it's wrong that low-cost weddings at the clerk's office are coming to an end. Barnett told me she's getting some negative comments from the public, but she's also hearing support, and I tried to ask her about that. There's, there are people who really look up to you because you've taken a stand for what, what they believe are important traditional family values. Thank you. Any comment at all on that? No, thanks. Okay. Anything else? I repeatedly tried to ask Barnett if there was anything more she wanted to say about her decision and the reaction to it. She said no. I also asked County Council Barney Ber Bernard Barman if he has any more comments. He told me he thinks this issue needs to be resolved, and he thinks it will be. We are reporting live in downtown Bakersfield. Back to you. All right, Carol, thank you. If you would like to see our entire interview with Ann Barnett, you can go to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. The interview is there. It's unedited. That is on bakersfieldnow.com. Today, Ann Barnett told Eyewitness News, based on her department's numbers, they had a, quote, net loss of about $18,000 performing the weddings. She told us this figure was for this fiscal year. Barnett told us the final numbers would be available tonight. We have not received that information yet, but we'll let you know when we get it. Again, dozens of couples showing up at the county clerk's office to say I do. This was the last day for wedding ceremonies at the clerk's office on Truxton Avenue in downtown Bakersfield. Forty-five couples along with their loved ones took their turns using the two chapels at the clerk's office. And today, any couples who consented to having their wedding videotaped by the media had their ceremonies outside the county building. With county clerk Ann Barnett stopping wedding ceremonies, some couples had to change their plans to get it done today. One couple we spoke with moved up their wedding date. Such so a short notice. Uh, we were going to try to actually get married later on this year, sometime in August, but they told us that today was the last day, so it was kind of a short notice for us. So far, 30 couples have made an appointment to get a marriage license next Tuesday, at least three Wednesday, one Thursday, and four on Friday.
Anyone wanting to get a marriage license needs to make an appointment. To do so, call the clerk's office at 868-3743. The cost of the license, $67. And then a couple can be married either through a civil or a church service. Ann Barnett told us she's received comments from the public both for and against her decision to stop doing weddings at the clerk's office. 29 Eyewitness News reporter Rimpy Rye shows us how people are rallying in support of Barnett. Rimpy. That's right, Lisa. Ann Barnett told the LA Times today she was just doing her job when she decided to stop presiding over marriage ceremonies. But many in this community support her actions as a stand against same-sex marriage. Bakersfield is made up of many different people, but on the most part, it carries with it a reputation for being conservative. Pastor Chad Vegas, who was unavailable for an interview today, clearly expressed his support for Ann Barnett's decision on the Kern Democrat website. He says, quote, I will work vigorously to remove from office any supervisor that does not support her in this difficult time, end quote. Vegas is not the only publicly recognized figure to show overt support for Barnett. Ken Mettler from the Bakersfield Republican Assembly feels it's not in the best interest of our society to have same-sex marriages because it erodes the institution of marriage. Well, when people elected Ann, they elect the whole package. And I think they, they do hopefully elect people based upon their character and their belief system. Mettler adds that Barnett is doing her constitutional duty to run the office in an orderly fashion and she is doing the right thing as a sworn constitutional officer. We hit the streets to see what people in Bakersfield thought about Barnett's choices. I support her decision if she feels strongly about it. Um, if she has religious views, that might be a, a big reason. I know um, from my religious background, I, I, I would have to agree with her. It Mettler also wanted to emphasize that the family code statutes have not been changed in the state of California and the judges only made an opinion ruling. As for now, he says the family code still calls for a man and woman and in that case, Barnett is doing the right thing. Live in the newsroom, Rimpy Rye, back to you. Rimpy, thank you.